how to add tables to your Wix website. So if you have a website like this and you want to add a table to it, well, then it's pretty easy. Now, if I come to elements here, if I come to elements and I scroll down, or if I do a search for table, now you see there are tables here there are tables to display content with collection it tells you already that for you to do this you need to add cms you can't just add the tables directly it's not going to work it doesn't work that way so if you came down here and you saw a table uh, widget and you wanted to add it you can't just add it you need to add your cms first so this is the cms actually this one here i'm going to click on that and I'm going to click to add to site. And my CMS is being added to my website. So it's going to say start with a preset. Start by adding content. I'll just say start with a preset. I can choose any of these presets to add to site. Anything of this sort to add it to my website. Just to, uh, as a way of showing you how the CMS works. Now you can see it goes ahead to show me a lot of stuff here. Um, I'm just going to X out of this. I was doing that just for demonstration. I'll close these two. I'll close these and it's added an entire page. I want to go back to the home page. I'll go back to the home page. And now if I go to my elements, I'll click on add elements. And I see CMS here. If I click on CMS, it's going to add, ask me uh, to add a preset. Or I could just search for table. And this is it. It already brings it here. So I could add any of these here. I will see table. I'll click on table. And then I could add this particular one to my website. For some reason, it's come and it's added right up here. I will drag this down to any section let me just put it here and you can edit this table right now and add your information to it so i'm going to click on manage table and you can change this header here see 2017 tours i'm going to click on that and you could see 2024 tours or 2025 25 tours you can change location too you can add another column uh let's say column title you can add anything there and the type should be text or numbers or whatever and you can add that you can see another column is added so you can come into the data here into the data and begin to change stuff so if i come here so for tickets uh, uh, and for location, if I click on that, you can edit field name, you can edit label, location, done. You can also edit label, which is also location. And then you can add some more columns. Now, mind you, this has to be edited at the level of the CMS. So if you have some information, you can pull that in in a CMS. If you got any value out of this video, please subscribe to my channel.